Annie says you're bringing Alice back this afternoon. Yeah, I'm just off. I'll call around later. Pat, can I have a word? Sure. Right. Perhaps you could leave this in the car while we're in the hospital. Thank you, darling. Sorry, Dee Dee. Me and Ron wanted to invite you to... Well, it sounds a bit funny, but we're renewing our marriage vows in church. It's next Wednesday at half three. And I wondered if you could come. Uh, we're having a buffet and some drinks afterwards. Well, that's very kind of you. It might be a little difficult. It's uh, midweek, you see. We're very busy at the yeah, moment. Yeah, and I might be working too. You're back at work? Oh, just from home on a freelance basis. Oh, right. Well, maybe you could let me know in the next day or two. Yes, yeah, Bye. we'll do that. Bye. Hey, can you put that techno on? Nah, I don't want this one. Want some pepperoni on that? There you go, six pounds change. Thanks very much. And call again, sir. Have you got any pepperoni sausage, please? In the fridge, Rach. Thanks, Mr. Salter. Hey, hey, hey. What's all this Mr. Salter stuff? It's great to you, sweetheart. All right, Greg. Eh, uh, can I have some Cokes, please, Greg? Help yourself, matey. All right, Jim. All right. Uh, listen, what we were talking about before. Well, I had the idea that you wasn't really interested. Yeah, well, I didn't quite get the full picture, did I? Well, we'll go upstairs, then. Hey, our son. Take over for a bit. Rachel and Leah will help you. Oh, wait, Dad. You've got to go back to school soon. Well, they won't miss you for a bit, will they? Does he mean we can sag off? I'll have to go back. Don't be so soft. I mean, Greg says it's all right. Does he really mean we can bunk off school and stay here? I suppose so. Oh, he's brilliant, your dad. Did you know Patricia Foreman's back at work? Oh, already? I don't think she should work at all. Not with a baby like that to look after. Maybe they're hard up, eh? I'm being serious. These modern mothers, some of them are more interested in their careers than looking after the children. And their baby does have problems. I suppose so. Did she say anything else? No, nothing. I just invited her and Max to the vow service. You what? Well, we have buried the hatchet with the Farnham's. Oh, they're a nice couple. Of course we should invite them. Dee, it's not just the Farnham's, love. What are you doing, inviting people? Well, it's not going to break the bank. It's only a short service. And then back here for a few drinks and a finger buffet. What flaming finger buffet? Well, you can't invite people and not offer them food and drink. Dee, this was supposed to be a private thing, remember? Just you, me and Father Heaton. And what good's that? I thought you wanted to renew our vows, not have a rerun of the royal wedding. Ron, I want people to know. I don't want it to be a private thing. I want people to talk about us and see that we're together again. I mean, you didn't know what it was like when we were separated. I got tired of people feeling sorry for me and treating me like the deserted wife. Yeah, but inviting every time... I want to wipe all that away. Look, I've got you back, and I want everyone to know. And I want this ceremony to make it official. Oh, for goodness sake, Ron. I mean, the Barnums did it, so why can't we? Oh, all right, but don't go OTT, eh? I still think it should be a private thing. Ron, it is important to me. You'll come, won't you, Mike? Your dad and I have arranged to have our wedding vows renewed in church next Wednesday. I heard. Who told you? Bev did. What are you doing talking to her? Well, I can't just ignore her, can I? I ran into her in the street. Oh, I suppose not. But just remember the misery she's caused this family. Look, Mum, I'm made up about this wedding vows thing and I'll definitely be there, OK? Now, oh, let's have a look at her there. You're beautiful, aren't you? Mm, she certainly is. Back to normal now, eh? <laughs> Thomas will be dying to see you. Oh, poor Thomas. Didn't get much attention this week, did he? Oh, well, we can easily put that right. I'll pick him up right now and take him for a burger. Listen, you don't mind if we go and see a film, do you? No, of course not. You'll love it. Great. Right, come on, let's get this little one home, then. Let's make the christening a really big celebration. Yeah, sounds like a good idea to me. We could pick up some invitation cards, do it properly. I want everyone to see how well she's doing. How happy we are. Day to remember, eh? Yeah. And before you said, a day off, no work. <laughs> what do you mean you're actually going to turn my mobile phone off? <laughs> Come on. You haven't told me anything about it yet. How can I say yes when I don't know what sort of a big job it's going to be? I told you the other night. I'm just sounding people out. Yeah. What, well, it's nothing to do with drugs? No, no way. Look, I told you I'm not interested in all that. But what is it, then? Something big. Something really worthwhile. 
spot a burglary. Oh, I. You're the expert on that, aren't you? Look, that was necessary at the time. I was having trouble with my suppliers. I wouldn't touch anything like screwing houses as a rule. Well, this is going to be bigger than screwing houses. So why won't you tell me, then? Because it needs to be planned. I need people to tell me that they're definitely in. And then me and the blokes involved can start detailed planning. All right. And I don't want any mistakes, Jim. I want this one to go like clockwork. And I don't even care if it takes us a few months to set up either. This one is going to be a real class job. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? Look, I've heard fellas talking like that in the nick. Oh, yeah, the next one's going to be my pension. I've had this great idea for the big one. I'm going to be swigging champagne on the beach in Rio. Yeah, funny. Huh? This is for real? Yeah, well, why won't you tell me, then? Or is it just some fantasy from when you were banged up for 23 hours a day? Look. It'll be a robbery. I don't know where, I don't know when. Oh, I what? Vera Lynn's in on it and all, is she? Look, if you're not interested, just walk away. Just wait till you read about it in the papers and then you can kick yourself for not being in on it, all right? Well, prove to me you mean it, then. I've just told you I mean it. Yeah, and you told me that you got banged up for a post office job. Maybe you didn't pay your poll tax, huh? All right, all right. I'll prove it to you. Oh, I right, well. Got a load of stuff left over from the post office job, have you? Hey, tax discs and stamps. Leftover dog licenses. You couldn't have been that brilliant. You got caught. <laughs> OK. Ooh. I haven't used these. This is new equipment. The first step towards the big one. Now, do you believe me? Yeah, just keep it down, will you, Greg? Do you believe yeah, me? Yeah, all right, all right. I believe you. Armed robbery. Big money. These are all the rage now. And what would you use it like? <laughs> no way. It's just to scare people, isn't it? But who's going to step out of line with one of these pointing at them? So are you in? Sorry, yeah. Uh, I think it's uh, a bit out of my league, mate. You what? After giving me all this hassle? Yeah, well, I got involved with one once, didn't I? And it all went wrong, someone got shot. Yeah, well, maybe they were amateurs. It's like I said, this'll go like clockwork and we'll make loads of money. How much are you looking for, like? What are you looking for? A new start. A new house. A big car. Well, how much would it take for you to get a new start in life? Fifty grand? Come on, was it pure right if I borrowed a few tins? I was away from me and Katie. Never mind, borrow. Take what you want. No, I'll leave them, Jackie. I'll fetch you some from the shop. Oh, will you? Tell us that. Isn't it about time we told her our news? What? Well, your dad and I went to see Father Heaton. And we're going to have our marriage vows renewed in church next Wednesday. Uh, what's it mean? Well, it means that we're kind of getting married again and showing people that our problems are behind us and we're really back together again. Oh, Mum, well, that's brilliant. Amazing for you. I hope you can get the day off. We'll be having a bit of a do afterwards. And I'd like Katie to come. Oh, I'm sure she'll come. So, we get a new outfit? Well, I don't really want to be spending. I was wondering about that green outfit. If I try it on, will you tell me what you think? I've lost weight since I last wore it. Yeah, come on, let's go and see what it looks like. Right, see you, Dad. I've got to get back to work. Michael, just a minute, son. What are you doing going to see Bev? Well, I wanted proof that Josh was mine, so she showed me the blood test letter. How is she? She's all right, I suppose. How about Josh? Fine. Look, Dad, about this wedding vows thing, are you really sure about it? Why shouldn't it be? It's what everybody wants, isn't it? How about you? Well, I was a bit browned off having to see the priest and your mother making such a big deal of it, but if it's what she wants, why not? Why have you got a problem with that? Well, I don't like keeping all this away from me, Mum, Dad. Michael, don't do anything rash, son. Please, think about your career first. Yeah, but I should be doing something about it if Josh is mine. I offered her money when I could get some. Did she accept it? No. She doesn't want money. All she wants is you. 
But you don't want her back to you. Dad? No. No, son. Pick it up. Wait, do you behind here? Greg says he doesn't mind. He lets make her own pizza. We could go if you knew what was going on. Where is Greg? No, somebody mentioned me. What are you doing letting kids behind the counter? Ah, it's no problem. They were only up and out. You know Mick doesn't like the man getting around messing. Listen, Greg, so I'll uh, catch you later. Yeah, see you later, Jim. What's that scumbag doing upstairs? I told you and Mick told you he's not wanted round here. Oh, well, he left something here the other night. Oh, yeah, well... Well, it was a tie. What's the big deal? Oh, stay away from him, Greg. He's bad news. Shouldn't you two be at school? School ball is best. Oh, the old excuse is always the best, eh? Anyway, I don't want you hanging around here. Go for a walk or something. Go with the pics. Oh, I haven't got any money. Couldn't you get some off your mum? I can. Yeah, son. Take this and have a good time. 20 quid? Ace. Why are you just giving them 20 quid just like that? So what? If you've got it, spend it. If you haven't, spend someone else's. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Greg. Ah, enjoy. Enjoy. Just so long as it's out of here, OK? Hey, 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 hey. You might look like he. They're only kids. You were one once, a hundred years ago. Thanks, Dad. I'll pay you back when I can. What, a few cans? Don't be stupid. Yeah, take this as well. Oh, it does a con. Jackie, take it, will you? And don't tell me it won't come in useful. OK. Dad, this church thing with me, Mum, you're not just doing it because you feel guilty about going off with Bev. You do really want it, don't you? Yeah, yeah, of course I do, love. I mean, you sure you want to get back with me, Mum? Jackie, you know I do. Well, I hope so. I couldn't stand to see her hair all over again. Go away, you're a divvy, you. You're not listening to me. If you follow me, I can give you the chance to have everything. Just take Betty it. will. Daisy. What's all that about? Him. He only wants girls for one thing. Who's so flat? He talked Casey into, you know, going to bed with him. And all the time, he was going with the other girls living in Casey's old house. He's a perv. That girl wants to look out. You sure about this? Well, Casey wouldn't lie to me. Look, Dad, thanks for everything. I'll have to get back to work. See ya. I'm released yeah. from the evils of consumerism. Just hear what I've got to say. Just have a look and just yeah. change your life forever. Hey, you. We're sick of telling you to get lost, aren't we, eh? I'm only talking to her. Oh, yeah, creeping around young girls, more like. And I wonder why. Now, go on, get lost. Is he here again, is he? There's nothing you can do about it. Go on, you lot, beat it. And, hey, stay away from this fella, do you hear? Young minds might be a bit more open than yours. He's been hanging around the kids. Mind you, you're into young girls, aren't you, mate? Forcing yourself on little Katie Rogers. Well, so he's a pervert, then, is he? He's a scum of the earth. It's your minds that are perverted, twisted with lies and filth. Is that right? Will you just do one? Go on, get lost! I don't have to listen to your lies. You heard. Bloody do one. I could give him a good slapping, you know. He certainly deserves one, all right. Look, this isn't the answer, you know. We need a legal remedy. Bing, isn't this something for the Residents Association? I mean, can't you call a special meeting or something? Yes, yes, of course. Nothing would give me greater pleasure. Maxie, would you come to a meeting to discuss what we're going to do about that Simon creep? Well, yes, but not tonight. Well, all right, then. How about, uh, next Tuesday evening? What are you talking about, Bing? Next Tuesday evening? That's days away. We want to be doing something now. I'm sorry, Ron. I'm rather booked up till then. I'm afraid it's Jeans Over 55's club. Well, what's wrong with now? Why don't we just go in the shop and trash it out now? Exactly. I wasn't aware that you were a resident. Yeah, well, I'm representing Mick in his absence. Ah, that's all right then, I suppose, sir. Hey, Barry, we're having a meeting to discuss that Simon and his carry on your game. Look, when he hasn't converted anyone, he'll get fed up and he'll go away. Barry, this affects everyone. Look, as owner of these shops and a new householder on the close, surely you can find some time to attend a meeting of the Residents Association. Yeah, all right, when? In the shop now. Max, are you available now? Well, yes, I suppose so. But what about the other residents? Shouldn't we get them? No, 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 no. We already have a quorum, and this is a matter of urgency. Come on, then. 
What's going on? We're having a residence meeting. A residence meeting in here? Yes, it's an emergency meeting, actually. Right, now, um, is there anyone willing to take her record? You know, the minutes. It's your can, aren't you? Right, well, uh, I'd like to welcome you all to this extraordinary meeting of the... Bing, we don't need all that. Let's just decide how we're going to get shot of him. As long as you realise it isn't down to me. This is your property. Yeah, the other day you were all for running him out of town, remember? Yeah, well, just think about it. What can I really do about it, eh? Nobody's going to complain if you put the arm on him a bit, are they? Just frighten him like. But what do you think I am, some sort of gangster? Well, I, I think that Barry's right. He can't do anything, so why don't we contact the police? He's on bail. On bail? It's absurd. If he's on bail, it might be a breach of bail. He could have it cancelled. I don't know why we don't just get together and give him a good hiding. Please, let's keep this sensible, shall we? I thought we were going to the multiplex. It's an hour till the next showing. Couldn't we hang around somewhere else? I don't want any more than anyone seeing me sag in school. Stop worrying about everything. I think I'll go and get some sweets and stuff. Come on. I thought we were going to spend it on seeing a film. We'll still have money for the multi. What's the point of sending them a letter from the Residents Association? They're just laughing our faces. A court injunction might be more effective. Hey, well, that's going to cost money, so don't be looking at me. Right. A letter to the local chief of police, then. An official complaint of nuisance. What will he use that for? Bog paper? He needs a good item or something to scare the daylights out of him. Look, I've had enough of this. I'm getting off. Barry, please, this is important. Well, send me the minutes. I'm busy. What's up with him? He was all for sorting them out at one point. Probably because that Terry Sullivan's a friend of his, split loyalties and all that. I don't think you're so well, are you, eh? This is useless. Look, we need to get together, give him a good seeing to him, then if he comes back for more, we'll do it again. I don't want any of that talk. That is tantamount to forming a vigilante group. Yeah, well, it works in other places. Look, I'm very sorry, but I'm going to have to take Thomas home. Uh, he's not very well. Um, I'm sorry. What's the matter with him? Temperature. Fine. So that works. So what are we going to do? I mean, what's wrong with the vigilante group? It's taking the law into your own hands, Ron. Surely you realise that can go terribly wrong. I mean, look what happened to me when I tried to break up his party. Yeah, well, if he sees we're weak, he'll carry on hassling our customers, won't he? Greg's right, you know, Bing. We've got to do something about him soon. Look, why don't we just threaten him, you know, scare him off, show him that we mean business? I'm sorry. I want nothing at all to do with any of this. It's way out of the remit of a residence association. Violence can only lead to more trouble. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to bring this meeting to a close at uh, just um, 22 minutes past three. Right, I'll, uh, I'll see you one on. Yeah, so that'll be. He's like you know, Dad. You'll only stand up in lumber. You better not wait until he gets off. Listen, Ron, I know where he hangs out. If no one else is going to do anything about it, how about you and me doing it? Well, I don't know, Craig. Look, are you going to let a pervert like that get away with it? You told me yourself he's into little girls. Do you want nonsense like that hanging around the neighbourhood? Yeah, but what if we get caught? Look, no one's going to know about this. No one will see. Yeah, OK, then. Right. Well, meet me by the path in the woods in half an hour. Mr. Dixon. All right, son. Jackie, put the cat on when he loves. See these? Where'd you get that? Lift them. Wait, just now. You're mad. Why am I mad? What's mad about not wasting the money we've got on buying sweets? It's better this way. Oh, show me how to do it. I want to learn how to do it. You can't start robbing. Why not? I want to. Will you show me, Gary, please? No problem. Oh, brilliant! Well, I do wish Barry Grant would do something. I don't trust that salted chap at all. He's a hothead. Just forget about it, Dad. It's not important. No, I suppose not. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, Thomas. Come on, drink up. There's a good lad. Come on. Just a few sips for Daddy, then tomorrow we are going to McDonald's and then the cinema. Oh, I'll have to take him to bed. 
Yes, an early night. He'll be as right as rain in the morning. Oh, God, look at his chest. Hang on. If I'm not mistaken, that's chicken pox, I'm afraid. Well, that's oh. contagious. What about Alice? Well, she's been breastfed, so she should be immune, but either way, I don't really fancy taking any risks. No need to panic. He's not been near her, has he? No, I don't think so. Right. Well, it's into quarantine for you, my lad. Come on, we'll take him next door. Oh, no. Well, yeah, we can't risk him coming into contact with Alice. Not after her illness. Mm, Thomas, we don't want Alice to catch these nasty itchy spots, eh? So do you fancy going and spending the night with Grandad next door? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I'll go and find the doctor. Are you sure you and Mum will be able to cope? Yes, of course. One less thing for you to worry about. Come on, then. Quick as you can. Sit up, eh? Mm. Oh, God. Never rains, but it pours. Aye, aye, Crosby. Drinking in the afternoons now, eh? Is that what all you middle classes are like? Don't be such a peasant. Besides, I hear a little bit of what you fancy does you good. And, um, I've been thinking. Maybe having a baby isn't such a bad idea. You what? Defo. <laughs> Defo? Ah, oh, Pen, that's brilliant. I'm made up. But first, I'm going to have to have a check-up just to make sure everything's OK. Listen, you can have a specialist. Go private anything you want. If we do have a baby, it's going to change our lives forever. I need to know how committed you are. I am. Very committed. Yes, I'm sure you are, but for how long? I mean, people normally get married before something like this. Hang on a minute. You're not proposing, are you? They're not quite. But this can't just be another fling. A baby means we stay together. It's real commitment time, Barry. I know. Look, it's what I want. Honest. Good. Me too. Well, then, cheers. Cheers. We are around here. What are you? How'd you find us? Oh, Gary told me. This is it. Come on. Let's waste the place. If he's nowhere to sleep, he'll have to get off. Get on it. Hey! What are you doing? That's my home. That's all I've got. That's tough. We want you out of the area. Have you got that? Away from our kids! Get your hands off me. Oh, get off the woman! Oh. Oh. Get off the Greg, no! Greg, Greg, stop it! Enough for God's sake! Greg, come on! Come on, Greg! Let's get out of here! Come on! Simon? 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 Oh, my God, what have they done to you? Oh, no, that's the last thing I needed. What? It's the new account they brought the deadline forward. They want everything in by the end of the week. Oh, no, no, no. Well, tell them it's impossible. Oh, I can't. I don't oh. want to let them down. Or myself. No, the same. You can't let them take you for granted. I don't suppose there's any chance of you taking just a couple of hours off this afternoon. I mean, I really do need to work every second I can. It's going to be a little tricky. I mean, I've got some slight oh. meeting. OK. Oh, hi. Come through. Hi. 
I've just popped over this. How are you? Thanks. Oh, I'm manic. The deadline's been brought forward on my new account and they want everything in by Friday. I mean, the same day as Alice's christening. Can you believe it? Well, if it's any comfort, Penny and I have decided to sort out the catering for you, so uh, just leave it to us. Oh, we can't let you do that. Of course you can. It's one less thing for you to worry about, isn't oh, it? Oh, thanks. We'd really appreciate it. Well, it's not every day you become a godparent, is it? <laughs> Listen, I'd better... I'd better go over and see how Thomas is doing it. Eh? All right. All right, we'll bet... I won't be a minute. Ooh. Why, what's up, man? Oh, chicken pox. <laughs> Being quarantined at David and Jean's, just be on the safe side. Mm. Listen, I, I don't suppose there's any chance of you looking after Alice. Just for five minutes. I've got a meeting with the health and safety people at the restaurant in ten minutes. Max, I've got to get back to the club. I've got a delivery. I'll see you later. <laughs> All right. On your way back to school? Oh, I've got double maths this afternoon. Anyway, there's no need to sell smug just because you've left. I've got nothing to be smug about. I can't claim dole. I don't want to go on a scheme. I'd be broke if I wasn't working in this place. Is that yours? Yeah, my dad bought it for me. What game's in it? Wario Land. How far you go? Keep getting killed in well, please. Gary, you're supposed to be helping me here, mate, not jangling to your mates. Do you only just come? Right, get on with that order, will you? I'm going to walk around with this delivery. See you in a minute. All right. Can I have a go? The batteries are coming. Why ain't you got any more? Well, you can go and get me some from the trading post if you like. All right, then, if you give me the money. I haven't got any. Well, I'm supposed to get the batteries, then. How do you think? You can't rob him. Why not? It's too dangerous that Ron Dixon's one of our neighbours. Well, I'm not going to get caught, am I? Gary showed me what to do. I'm back in a minute. If she gets caught, it's your fault. Stop panicking. It wouldn't even matter if she did get caught. It's a first offence. She'd only get a warning. And that makes it all right. Oh, stop taking everything so seriously. It's only a laugh. Can I help you, love? Uh, just this, please. 28, please. Thank you. Thanks. Just a minute. Don't you want your change? See ya. Tell our love. How are you feeling? About as well as can be expected. After being brutally attacked by the devil's disciples. Oh, don't let them get you down. They're just animals. There's no other way to describe them. I just can't understand it. I've prayed and I've prayed. I've tried to understand why Jesus could allow this to happen, but he's just not giving me any answers. Well, you'll just have to keep on praying. you will make everything clear. There's got to be a reason. I've never felt like this before. I've never felt so alone. I'll just keep praying. I don't know if I can. After all the work I've done to spread the word, all the time I've devoted, and what do I get in return, eh? Nothing. That's what? Nothing. We're gonna be late. I can't believe how easy it was. I just walked in and took him. It was dead simple. Can I take it to school with me? No, it'll get robbed. It won't. Oh, go on. Who got you the batteries? <sighs> All right, then. I'll get you some more when these run out. It's dead easy to rob from there. That one Dixon's dead dozy. You can't keep robbing from the same place all the time. You've got to be subtle, keep moving around. If you don't want to get caught. What makes you such an expert? Because my dad's a pro, that's why. He taught me everything I know. I'll have to get back in. Do you fancy him? No, why? Well, I reckon you do. What makes you think that? Because you do everything he says. I don't. You do? You're not jealous, are you? No, I should have been. Hi, Jim. No, nah, not really. Why, what's up? I feel terrible. You're not back on the smack again, are you? No. It's worse than that. Listen, boss, I think I might have AIDS. You what? What makes you think you've got that? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? I mean, you know, I was using dirty needles. Me and Jackie, we went for an AIDS test, but they must have made a mistake. I mean, it's possible, isn't it? God, buddy, what am I going to tell Jackie? I'll never forgive myself if I passed it on to her. Well, why are you so convinced you've got AIDS? Well, what else could it be? I've been feeling terrible for days, you know, listless and that, like... Now, look at this. I've come out with spots all over my body, look! I mean, what else could cause that, eh? It's either AIDS or that flesh-eating disease. Either way, I'm going to die, I know that. Jimmy. I don't suppose you've been near Max Farnham's son lately, have you? Yeah. Well, I was the hero who found him when he went missing, wasn't I? Why? Because he's got chicken pox, you divvy. He's probably passed it on to you. Chicken pox at my age? 
You can get it at any age, can't you? Anyway, you might as well go on. I don't want you infecting me or any of me customers for that matter. Chicken pox? I don't believe it. Barry, you've made me day. I've got chicken pox. <laughs> Mr. Grant, Mr. Maguire. Hey, hey, Kenny, lad, looking good there, kid. Uh, Mr. Corkill, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Hey, listen, I've got chicken pox. Listen, <gasps> so what can I do for you? Uh, I was just wondering if I could have a quick word. Uh, only a minute of your time. Yeah, well, you better come inside. Might as well make yourself useful while you're there. Jimmy, lock up, will you, mate? Yeah, sure, boss. No problem. <laughs> I've got chicken box. Hi, <laughs> hi, love. All right. You look pleased with yourself. Yeah, well, I have just had some good news. What's happened? I have got a chicken box. Congratulations. Listen, best news I've had all week, kid. <laughs> ben? How are you, love? Fine, thanks. Just been talking to Jimmy Corkle. I'm sure he's on drugs again. He's talking a load of rubbish. He scares me. Oh, poor Jackie puts up with it. Uh, she should be made a sink, that woman. So, uh, are you keeping anyway? Fine, thanks. How about little Josh? Oh, he's doing great. He's with Arlene this afternoon. So, big day tomorrow, eh? Getting me married and all that. Well, sort of, yeah. All the best, anyway. I hope everything really works out for the two of you. I'm just sorry things have to turn out like this. It's done, it's done. Can't go back now, eh? No. I suppose not. Anyway, I hope the weather stays fine for you. Um, I've got to get off. See ya. Look, I know we've had our differences in the past, but at the end of the day, I've got a lot of respect for you. I mean, we've got a lot in common, really. Both a couple of successful businessmen interested in making a quick buck. That's why I think you'd be interested in this new scheme of mine. Just get to the point, eh? Videos. Cut price tapes of all the latest blockbusters. There's a big demand, a strong market for them. Oh, are you? Who do you think you are, Spielberg? So where'd you get these tapes from in the first place? Well, that's where you come in, to provide the capital for the duplication costs. Yeah, well, I guess that much, but whose tapes are they? Oh, I've, I've got me contacts. Yeah, I'll bet you have. So... I take it we're talking pirate videos and are we? Well, no. Well, yeah, actually, in a manner of speaking. But it's only giving the public what they want. Films are big business now. Everybody wants the latest blockbuster to watch at home on video. At the right price. All sounds a bit dodgy to me. <laughs> and here's me thinking you're the kind of bloke who's prepared to take chances. Hiya. Hey, Ben, do us a favour, will you? Will you start on the office in there? I'm in the middle of a meeting here. Um, I wanted if I could have a word, actually. All right, then, uh, just wait outside a minute, then. All right. I might be interested. I don't mind watching the odd film myself, but I'm not going to take your word for it. We're going to want to see facts and figures, some evidence that this video lark is as simple as you make out. Well, we'll leave it there for now, shall we? And I'll get you all the relevant details, and I can promise you, you'll be amazed by the returns. Well, like I say, I'll keep my options open until I see some kind of proof. OK, I'll be in touch. Mr Maguire. Oh, hello, Mandy. I've been trying to get hold of you for days. Well, you can get a hold of me any time you want. I've been getting all kinds of bills, people threatening to cut me off or threatening to take me to court. What's going on? There's nothing to worry about. Everything's under control. Well, it doesn't seem like that to me. I thought when you bought all my debts off me, it meant I was going to see the end of all these red bills. <laughs> Mandy, Mandy, I can appreciate your concern, but I assure you, this is just all part of the company's strategy. Look, why should we hand over your money to these cowboys so they can get rich on your interest? And that's all these big companies are, you know, cowboys. This way, we wait till the very last minute, then we pay them. It's, it's just a formality, nothing for you to worry about. Oh, right. Are you sure? Look, it's my fault. I should have warned you beforehand, save you all this worrying. Well, I must admit, I was starting to get a bit panic-stricken. Well, don't you worry. Look, all these letters you're getting are just standard reminders spat out by some computer. You just ignore them. I promise you, all your debts will definitely be paid before the final deadline. Now, I hope that eases your mind. Yeah, I feel a bit better now. I mean, I was starting to think you'd left the country or something. Hey, would I do that to you? What do you take me for? Now, what can I do for you? Not after the paid eyes, are you? Um, I've come to have my notice in, actually. Well, how come? I mean, you've only just got back of your holidays. 
So I think it's time for me and Josh to make a fresh start. There's nothing left for us here, really, so um, we're moving to London. Hello. Oh, Mr. Clayland. Hi. Yes, 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 I've got the facts. No, no, no. Um, no, no, that's no problem at all. The is still fine. Uh, yeah, I'm just waiting on the artwork from the printers, which should be ready sometime tomorrow. Yeah, I'm sure it will, yeah. I'm, I'm really enjoying the challenge. Mm. Yes, well, I'll get everything to you um, by Friday, then. OK, it's speak to you then. Bye-bye. Hello? Shh. Oh, she's only just nodded off. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, uh, did you uh, manage to get much work done? No, hardly anything. She's been crying all afternoon. I haven't been able to do a thing with her. She's just been really kind of niggly all day. Oh, well, not to worry. I'm here now. At least for an hour. Oh, that's great. Do you mind if I live upstairs, get my hours working? No, not at all. You go upstairs, I'll sort of everything down here. Mm. Hiya, oh. I'm not disturbing anything, am oh, I? Well, actually, oh, well, uh, I know you're busy, so I won't stop. All right. Um, I'll put the kettle on, shall I? I'm sure you won't say no to a final cup of tea with me. Uh, final? Yeah, that's why I'm round, actually. I hate to let you down, but I'm handing me notice in. But why? I thought you were happy here. Oh, don't take it personally. I, I'm, I'm really going to miss the pair of you, but I've decided to move on. Where to? London. Me and Josh are going to make a fresh start. Well, what brought this on all of a sudden? Oh, can you blame me, Pat? There's nothing really left for me round here, is there? From Ron and Dee Dee are back together. They're even renewing the marriage vows tomorrow. Like rub and salt me wound working next door to them. Well, why London? Well, I've got a mate who lives down there on the outskirts, really. A place called Rugby. She said we can stay with her till we're sorted. And anyway, London's the place to be if you want to be famous. Anyone who's anyone lives there. We went there once with school, you know, and second year seniors. We'd only been there five minutes and we saw them all on Oxford Street. Everyone was pointing at them and staring and saying, Hey, lad, are you them all? And I thought, that'll be me one day. And you never know. Next time you see me, I could be on the Gubra Smash Hits. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed for you and let's hope you follow in the footsteps of. Lamal, whoever he may be. Well, I thought I can stay here and become Hilda Ogden, or I can do something with my life while I'm young. Good for you. It'll mean I'll miss your Alice's christening, then. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, but, well, I've already made arrangements with Janet. We're going down tomorrow. She's meeting us off the four o'clock train. <laughs> well, good luck. I hope everything goes well for you and Bev. Thanks. Thanks for everything. Eh? Oh, Patricia, I really think you should come over. It's Thomas. He's inconsolable. Why? What's well, happened? I think he's just homesick. He keeps saying he wants his mummy. Homesick? He's only next door. You go and see him, Pat. I'm in no rush. I'll have a nice cup of tea waiting for you when you get back. Have it, man. Uh, 52, please. Looking forward to tomorrow, then. I saw Dee Dee earlier. She seems over the moon. She invited me to the party afterwards. Oh, right. <laughs> Well, it's not going to be a party as such, man. More like a small gathering. <laughs> well, I should let Dee Dee know if I were you. She's inviting everyone. I mean, I don't think I can make it anyway. I'm working till six. I will try and get round when you finish for a bevy. Your bet's going without Michael. Yeah, she says. Tell you what, they're getting serious, aren't they? To keep going on like this, me and you could be in-laws. <laughs> well, I wouldn't mind. I mean, I like Mike. He's always so polite. You should be grateful that Simon's such a forgiving person, because if I was in his shoes, you'd be in a police cell now. Hey, now, just hang on. You don't march in here shouting your mouth off. And you don't go around beating innocent people up for no reason. Just hold your horses, will you? You can't go around accusing people like that. Besides, that Simon fella's a bloody pervert. Believe me, Ron, you're a long time dead. And I'd hate to be going where you're going to end up. Oh, would you now? Well, don't bother coming in here again. Do you hear? You're bad. Can you believe that? Bloody maniac. Well, I think he's frightening. He scares me. Yeah, well, he'd better watch himself. Otherwise, the men in white coats will be coming for him. Right, I'm going to see Penny now. I hope she's not too bothered, you know. We've become best mates over the past couple of months. No, all the best. Don't forget to write to us. Don't worry, I will. And all the best for Friday. I'm sorry I won't be able to be there. Well, bye-bye. See ya. Bye. Good luck. I'm even more behind now. Mm, I've got to get back as well. I've got this meeting. There's no way I can get out of it. Well, I'll just try and get as much as I can done while Alice is still asleep. I'm going to have to work through the night if I'm going to meet the deadline on the Clayland's account. Do you think it would be a good idea if we cancel the christening? I mean, just take the immediate pressure off. Oh, no, no. I mean, all the invitations have been sent out and everything. Anyway, I want to prove to people that Alice is doing fine and that we're making positive plans for the future. Mm. 
Oh, I could do without the uh, Dixon's knees up tomorrow. Yeah. Well, you know why they're doing it, don't you? They just want to copy us by having all this wedding business again. <laughs> I know we promised we'd go, but I don't think I can cope with it. Well, I don't think I'll be too heartbroken if we have to cancel. Look, I tell you what, leave it to me. Oh, typical. Good timing, yes. See you later. Are you skiving? Oh, Jackie Corkill came in, so I'll come round to do some accounts. I'm looking for the these bags, then. All right, you know. Hello, Ron. All right, Maxie. You, uh, looking forward to your big day? Oh, are you? Can't wait. <laughs> Brand new start for us all. I know we've had our differences. But that's all in the past. That's why me and Ron are so pleased that you and Pat are coming tomorrow. A toast to a new chapter. Yes, well, actually, Maxie, I... Maxie, you don't have to say anything, mate. I know you're as glad as we are that we finally buried our grievances. And listen, I want you to know, if you ever need a favour, our door's always open. Well, obviously, the same applies to you. Well, it's funny you should say that, cos we were wondering if you'd give us a lift to the church. Well, um... Well, I hope you didn't think I'm being cheeky. But, well, we don't want to get a taxi, you know what they're like. We don't want to turn up in the movie. No, and there won't be that many of us leaving from here, so we should all easily get into both your cars. Both cars? Oh, we'll pay for petrol, of course. No, 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 of course, I wouldn't hear of it. Oh, nice one, Maxie. That's all sorted out, love. Thanks very much for offering. We'll be leaving about three. Right. Jean was telling me you have an Alice christened on Friday. Just well, I got myself a new outfit, isn't it, with all these functions coming up? Oh, right. So you'll be able to make it to that one, then. Hey, wouldn't miss it for the world, would we, mate? Put it there. Hey, yeah, you're a good fella, and I'm glad to see that we finally see eye to eye. Here's to the future, eh? Yes, to the future. Hey, there was no need to open this on account of me, you know. Nonsense. Oh. Cheers. To your future as a pop icon of the 90s. I'll drink to that. Cheers. Hey, I want to get myself sorted. You can come and stay with us any time. Oh, I might take you up on that. We go out in the town together. You can take me to one of those posh clubs and cop me off with a millionaire. <laughs> hey, hey, what's this? You two having a party? Oh, just a farewell drink for both. Get a glass, join us. No, I think I'd rather keep a straight head. Oh, you bore. Eight hey, pennies, all right, for usually. Mm, sure, you know what it is. So, um, any luck on the catering front? Everybody says it's too short notice. Oh, well, why don't you try that Emma girl? I mean, she did a wonderful job here in the housewarming. We can do better than there. I can't see what your problem is. I mean, Emma's really good. Besides, if you leave it much later, you're going to end up having to do it all yourself. Well, thanks very much for your support. Glad to know I can count on you. You can count on Emma. Ring her now. I've left a number over the club. I suppose I could go over there and phone her. Uh, don't be too long. I'll get rid of Bev and then uh, we can have an early night. Well, in that case, uh, I'll be straight back. Sorry. Oh, where have you been? In the park praying. <sighs> Did it help for things clearer now? I'm sure it'll get easier. Look, I've decided that I'm going to lie low for a while, keep out of people's way. Why is that? I need to recharge my batteries. We both do. We've got a testing time ahead of us. Are well, you worried about the trial? Well, I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't. I don't know what I'd do if you were sent down. We're just gonna have to hope that it doesn't come to that. Look, we both know that Jesus is on our side. There's no reason why he should let us down. Listen, Terry, you've been my most faithful devotee and friend. No matter what happens, I always remember everything that I've taught you. How many people are you expecting for this do tomorrow? I've invited all the neighbours. I want everything doing properly. Yeah, well, I just hope they're all hungry, that's all. Come with me, I've got a surprise for you. What? It's nothing special. It's a new suit. I hope you like it. Oh, dear, you shouldn't have bothered. We both want to look our best tomorrow. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Isn't that nice, eh? Dead smart. All I need now is a nice pair of hush puppies and I'll be sorted. We'll try it on. I think the legs might need hemming. You shouldn't have bothered, really, you know, love. I wanted to. I want tomorrow to be perfect. I want it to be the happiest day of our lives, like the first time round. Yeah. I'll get it. Forgot my key. She was ever gonna go. So, what about this early night you promised me? Well, I think there's something you should know first. What? I went to the doctors this morning to discuss the risks, you know, about my getting pregnant. 
And? I'm 43. It had been my first child. There is a higher chance the baby could have problems. And there's also the chance that the baby will be born perfectly healthy. If I did have a baby like Alice, what would you do? I'd love it the same as any other baby. Do you mean it? I've told you before. I've lost out on the chance of being a dad twice. Now that me and you are serious, it's perfect. I mean, everyone seems to think that I've got everything I want. And the only thing that I want that I haven't got is a baby. I'd love it the same as any other baby. It's not that simple, though, is it? How do you mean? Would you still love me once the baby's born? How can I be sure you wouldn't just pick up the child and walk away? You've got to trust me. It won't happen. I was serious the other day. This is the real thing for me. And me. But I need to be happy. I won't ever be let down by a man again. Not after what Clive did. I don't want to marry you. I don't want to marry anyone, but I do want to be with you. And if having a baby makes us more complete before we're both over the hill, well... So you've definitely decided, then? Yes, I've decided. I think these trouser legs need to be taken up an inch, don't you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. Right. If you don't get changed, I'll sort it for you. Right. Dad. What? Are you sure you know what you're doing? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Are you absolutely certain everything's over between you and Bev? Don't talk soft. Of course it is. Yeah, well, I hope so. Look, Michael, your mother and me are going through with this blessing tomorrow because we both want to. Yeah, well, I hope you're telling me the truth. Because I will never forgive you if you let me mum down again. You've got to be there tomorrow because you want to be with her for the rest of your life. Top, do you? No, they're lovely. Adds to the occasion. Are you nervous? I do feel a bit nervous for some reason. I feel more nervous than the first time round. I'll, um, just go and put the kettle on. What do you want? Don't worry. I'm ready to kick off or anything. Just going to wish you all the best. Oh? Right. Sorry for everything you've gone through. I didn't mean to hurt you or anyone else. Just hope it all works out for you and Ron. Oh, uh, well, thanks. Anyway, you'd be pleased to know I'm going to be off the picture soon. Me and Josh are moving to London. Honest? Well, there's nothing really left for me here. Well, good luck. Hope it turns out very well for the both of you. And you. I hope it all goes smoothly for you today. I'm sure it will. Seems strange. At times I've wished you'd pack your bags and clear off. Now you actually are, taking Josh with you. 
feel a bit sad. He's part of the family somehow. I'm sure it'll all work out for the best. I don't know why I came, really. I just felt I needed to see her. Say I was sorry for everything. Anyway, better get going. I haven't finished packing yet. Um, see you tomorrow, tomorrow for me. See ya. Hi. Hiya. Well, you didn't get an all glammed up at this time. I'm going to Mike's mum and dad's wedding thing. And what are you doing home? I thought you meant to take the school for dinner times. I've only come home to change my shoes. I feel ashamed. Everyone's going to think I'm a right meth. Look at that. No, I just clip back on. You must be joking. I'll just have to wear my trainers till I get a new pair. These are going in the bin. Um, don't you dare throw them in the bin. There's nothing wrong with them. And besides, you're not allowed to wear trainers for school. I'm not wearing them again. They're wrecked. I want a pair of caterpillars. You're joking, aren't you? Rachel, we're skins. Everyone else has got them. Well, you're not everybody else, are you? Stop talking like you're my mum. Rachel, I mean it. Don't go hassling mum about new shoes. She's got enough to worry about without you going on a her. I cannot believe you've agreed for us to be the Dixon's chauffeurs. Why didn't you arrange to have the reception here while you were at it? I'm sure we could have found the time. You know, it was it just happened. It was one of those awkward situations. Max, nice repeat after me. I'm hopeless. I'm hopeless, and I'm sorry. Mm, so you should be. Oh, no, I don't believe this. Why, what's wrong? I pay a fortune to get this biked over to me from the printers. It's not even my work. It belongs to someone else. What else could possibly go wrong? And how could they be so stupid? Just don't worry about it. I'm sure it'll be easily sorted out. <sighs> I need it now. It's engaged. Listen, what time did you get to bed last night? I don't know, about two. It must have been after that. I was with Alice until half past. Oh, could you just look after her for me while I sort this out? And, oh, I wanted to give the place a quick... No, 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 listen, I can't. Look, I've got to pop to the club. I, I'll only be a few minutes. I've got to sign some cheques. and they, they have to go out straight away. I was going to ask Bev to give this place a spring clean before the christening. I'll have to do it all myself. But listen, now. take it easy. The christening's not until Friday. This will be my only chance. What time do Ron and Dee have to be at the church? Half past three. Oh, it's ringing. Hopefully I'll have time to sort this out, pop next door, see Thomas, come back and spend an hour in the Clayland account. I'll be straight back. Oh, come on, come on. Hello, yes, it's, it's Patricia Farnham here. Look, there has been a terrible mix-up. Looking forward to it, then. What do you think? Have you thought any more about what I said last night? Are you really sure you know what you're doing? OK. It's the ugly sisters. Oh, you're hysterical, Michael. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi, you love. Hi, you, Katie. Hi, yeah. Well, you two both look very smart. Yeah, I thought we'd better make an effort. Michael, will you get Jackie and Katie a drink, please? Do you want wine or lager? Oh, go on then. I'll have a wine too. Same here, thanks. Right. Uh, where's my mum? She's upstairs getting ready. She should be down any minute. Well, we bought you a little present between us, but I'll leave it here. You know, put it when you get back. Oh, Jackie, love, you shouldn't have bothered with presents. It's only a little bit of a ceremony, you know. I think we should have said that before we spent the pounds. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mike, it's a weird game to do Mum and Dad's wedding, isn't it? Jackie, it's not a wedding. You look very smart. That new suit? Yeah. Uh, you don't think it's a bit old-fashioned, do you? Uh, hi. How are you, love? You know Beth, don't you? How Mike's new girlfriend. Dad. I'll put some music on. <laughs> so you nervous, then? <laughs> Funnily enough, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> oh. All the best, Ron. Don't open it now, it's uh, nothing special. <laughs> oh, Jackie, you shouldn't have bothered, love. Michael, will you get Beth and Jackie a drink? Is uh, wine all right? Oh, why not? <laughs> <gasps> Jackie, do we have to have all that ravey music on, love? Don't forget there's older people coming as well, you know. We've got to think of them. Hey, don't change the music on account of me. <laughs> Oh, oh, dear. Oh, you look lovely. Doesn't she, Ron? Getting all emotional here. <laughs> you look smashing, love. Oh, thanks. I don't look like Mutton Dresser's lamb, do I? You look gorgeous, Mrs Dixon. Yeah, really sophisticated. Oh, thanks, Jack. Oh, I'd like to take a photo of you and my dad together. Hey, let someone take one of all the family together. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, go and stand with your mum and dad, Jack. Mike, come and get your photo taken. Oh, thanks, love. Hey. Don't feel ashamed. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mike. Um, will you take it, love? I have this terrible habit of cutting people's heads up. Thanks. Ta right. Ready? OK, say cheese. Cheese! <laughs> oh, that'll be lovely. Excuse me. 
Is Mr. Granson? Uh, no, I'm sorry, he's busy at the moment. Can I help? Uh, yeah, uh, you're involved in this restaurant thing of his, aren't you? Yeah, I'm his partner, actually. Oh, right, you'll do then. I want a job. Oh, well, uh... I'm willing to do anything. And I am a neighbour. You'll be able to trust me. Uh, yes, I see, but uh, you see, we do have a particular type in mind. Oh, go on. I'm a hard worker. I'm willing to do anything. I'm a grafter. Yeah, go on, Mr. Farnham. Give the lad a chance. Could be your good deed for the day. What do you want? Well, I'm trying to catch the elusive Mr. Grant. I'm afraid he'll be busy all day. Well, in that case, can I take the liberty of giving you this? It's just some business projections I promised him. I'll uh, see who gets them. So you're going to give me an interview? I deserve a chance. Oh, not often you hear enthusiasm like that these days. I'd snap him up if I were you. I'm afraid it's none of your business. Do you have any experience in this line of work? Yeah, I've worked in the army kitchens. <laughs> well, we are looking for people with uh, specific catering qualifications. You looking for any kind of work? Yeah, why? Well, I might be able to help you out. Only be for a few weeks, though. I'd be made up with anything. Oh, well, <laughs> there you go. I'll leave you two to negotiate. Yeah, thanks for your time. Ah, you wouldn't want to work for his sort anyway. Treat you like muck. Think they own the bloody country. So, you were in the army then? Yeah. Thing is, I'm looking for a driver. Only for a few weeks. My usual assistant's not too well at the moment, and I'm a bit stuck. Well, I've got a clean driving license. OK. How would cash in hand starting today suit you? You what? Honest? Yeah. By the way, I'm Kenny Maguire. Carl Banks. Good. I'll explain everything as we go along. Yeah. Do you fancy going into town when you finish school? Well, what for? And what do you think? To make ourselves some cash. I don't know about you, but I'm sick of being skint all the time. Are you serious? Why not? How else can we get the money? I need a pair of caterpillars. It's not my fault I haven't got any shoes. It's not really robbing when you steal from these big companies. They're only rich out of making the profits out of ripping us off all the time. Anyway, you don't have to come if you don't want to. Do you fancy it, Rach? Don't listen to him. It's all right for you. Your mum and dad are loaded. You get everything you want. My mum's on her own. She's skin. I just want to try and help her out a bit more. I only rob out of need. I just want us to have what everyone else has got. It's not really stealing if you're doing it out of need. It's just surviving. Gary's right. It's political. We're only robbing because we're poor. It's our rights. You sound like Robin Hood or something. I'll meet you outside school then. All right, great. See you later. Have a nice night in. On your own. You'd put your hand in the fire if he told you to. I wouldn't. Why'd you have to be such a bore? Why don't you just come with us? <sighs> All right. But only on two conditions. What? I don't do any robbing. <sighs> All right, and what's the other? Will you go out with me? What suddenly brought all this on? I've been wanting to ask you for ages. Honest? All right, then. Do you mean it? Of course I do. <sighs> Come on, they're going to be late for don't hurry up. Maxie! Michael, will you give over with that thing? Oh, right, Max, there's 13 of us, including the kids, so uh, who's going to go with who? I'm afraid Thomas and I have got to have the Cortina to ourselves. He's still in quarantine. Hey, Bing, do you think he should be going? I mean, we don't want all the guests going on with a slice of cake and chicken pox, do we? Oh, he should be all right. The quarantine's just to be on the safe side. Poor little Tommy, are you being treated like a leper? It's Thomas, actually. I'm not sure we'll all fit in. Oh, of course we will. You don't mind me sitting on your knee, do you, Jean? I don't think there'll be any need for that. There's plenty of room, five in each car. Ron and Dee Dee mustn't go together. Oh, I don't think that really matters. After all, it's not the first time round, is it? <laughs> well, it is traditional. We don't want anything to go wrong, do we? Fair enough, then. I'll go with Maxie and you go with Trish. I'm gonna go with Max's car. It's gorgeous. Yeah, so is he. <laughs> uh, Dad, me and Casey will come with you. All right, love. Well, make sure your shoes are clean, because the carpet's spotless. Cheeky moves. Well, in that case, Mum, would you come with me and hold Alice? Of course. Oh, I think I'll go with the bride. Look at our Michael and Beth. They don't want to be separated. Uh, it doesn't matter, Mum. I didn't know you two were an item. Why not? I don't know why you two are being so coy about it, you know. You make a lovely couple. Let's hope her deviancy is well and truly a thing of the past. Well, I'll go with Katie and Jackie. I'll see you there. Yes, you're up there. Right, well, uh, see you at the church, then. I can't wait. Now, that's what I call easy money. What exactly is it you do? You mean you haven't worked it out yet? It's not drugs, is it? <laughs> Are you serious? Keep guessing. Well, I'm very sorry about that, Ron. Hang on, Mike. I brought some special effects with me. <laughs> Dad. Yeah, I did. 
I just want to forget the last two years and put Bev and everything behind us. Meet. I saw her this morning. Who, Bev? Yeah, she came into the shop just to give us her blessing. She's moving to London. When? I don't know, but it's for the best, I suppose. It'd only be too painful us all bumping into each other all the time. Yeah. Oh, hello, Father. You look great. <gasps> oh, thank you. <laughs> all the very best, Ron. Thanks, Father. Jackie, take a photo of your mum and dad with the priest. I have got a name, you know. Sorry, Father. No, just call me Paul. Makes me feel more human. Right, should we go inside? Get the boring bit over with. Then we can all have a drink, eh? <laughs> Stand tall. I imagine a priest, is it? <laughs> Jack. Damn. Um, Bev said anything to you about moving to London. London? No, no. I don't know. Maxie, has, uh, has Bev handed a notice in at your place? Uh, yes, yesterday, in fact. So it is true she's moving to London? Yes, apparently. She's uh, catching the four o'clock train. Look, forget her on. It's all in the past now. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, just uh, wishing your dad's all the best. You're not having second thoughts, are you? No, no of course not. What are you looking so worried for, then? Well, just found out that Bev and Josh are moving to London. It was a bit of a shock to talk. Well, why should that bother you? You're back with me mum now. Michael, this is a happy occasion, isn't it? Don't go putting the dampener on it. Dad, I just want to make sure you know what you're doing. Would you still be here today if Josh was your son? Michael, just give it a rest, then. Are you coming in or what? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we just go and walk on the train to Southport instead? It'll be a laugh. Stop whinging. What if we get caught? We told you. All you have to do is distract the assistant and keep her talking until you see us walk away. What do I say? Just tell her you want to buy your mum an anti wrinkle cream for a birthday or something. Why do you want to rob makeup anyway? Stop going on. We didn't force you to come. Now you're either with us or you're not. Excuse me. I, um, I wanted to buy an anti wrinkle cream for mum's birthday, and I'm not sure what type to get. I mean, this is the most popular one at the moment. Um, there's a lot of younger women using that one. Um, you use a little, it goes a long way. Um, you can use it day and night. It's uh, slightly more expensive, but it lasts a long, long time. And then this one is popular with the middle-aged lady. That's a nice one. That's slightly more expensive. Then um, this is... This one here, this is a cheaper one. Thanks for your help. I'll come back when I've decided. Oh. It's great to see so many friends and family of Ron and Dee here today. It was in this church they first tied the knot. And I think we're all very privileged to be celebrating this very special day with them 22 years later. I know the past few years haven't been easy for you. You've had more than your fair share of problems and grief. But the fact that you're here today to renew your marriage vows in the eyes of God shows just how strong your devotion to each other is. Now, if I could just ask you both to come and join me here at the front. They just talked to that woman. Yeah, but you can still be seen as an accessory. I know, it's what I'm worried about. My bottle went a bit when we were walking out. I couldn't believe it when no one came after us. What are you doing? Just checking to see if the inspector gets on. Hey, Bonnie, you fat meth! 
He still owes ATP from last week. Back in a sec. Just a bit of business to sort out. She thinks she's dead hard. I'm glad you decided to come with us. It won't be the same without you. I just don't want to do any robbing, though. I don't want to get sent away again. Were you serious about what you said before about going out with me and that? Yeah, why? About actually going out with each other proper, like. Yeah. Well, in that case... What are you doing? I'm trying to kiss you. I won't bite. Oh. I think you meant to open your mouth a bit more. On your wedding day, you pledged your love for each other. As we've gathered here today to celebrate that love, <sighs> we've obviously got some yuppies in. It's for you. <clears throat> oh, yes, Mr. Clayland. As we've gathered today to celebrate that love, okay, okay, right. I now invite Thanks. you to reaffirm the loving promises you made go. when you began so your married life together. Account. What? Yeah. I'll explain later. And so I ask you, will you continue freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? We, we will. Will you continue to love and honour each other as man and wife? for the rest of your lives. We will. We will. Yes, please. Um, single to book. We've been twisting through the If you could just take each other's hand and repeat after me. We call upon these persons here present. We call upon these, these persons, persons here, here present. present to witness our continuing acceptance of each other in the sacrament of marriage. To witness, witness our continuing continue acceptance of each other, other in the sacrament of marriage. of marriage. To have and to hold, for better, for worse. To have and to hold, hold for, for better, better for worse. worse. For richer, for poorer, in sickness and health. For richer, richer for, for poorer. poorer. Sickness and in health. To love and to cherish till death do us part. To love and to cherish till death do us part. To love and to cherish till death do us part. I'm sorry, dear. I just can't go through it. I'm sorry. Ron, are you all right? What do you want me to stop here for? I told you before, Steve, my usual assistant, is not too well at the moment, so I'm just visiting him. What's up with him? Well, he had a bit of an accident. You sometimes run into awkward clients in this line of business. <laughs> I suppose you could call it an occupational hazard. He was beaten up. He'll live. Just a few broken ribs, that's all. I'm starting to have second thoughts about this. Hey, don't let it put you off. What happened to Steve, I'm glad to say, was a one-off. Still, I don't want to take any chances. You haven't even told me what it is you do yet. Look, all I need is a driver, someone who can handle himself, and preferably, someone who doesn't ask too many questions. You're ideal. I appreciate that, but I'd be a bit stupid if I started working for you without even knowing what it is you do. I don't know what you're getting so uptight about. I'm not doing anything illegal, you know. I offer a financial service to people, that's all. You mean... you're a loan shark? Hey, financial services, if you don't mind. I'm not one of them tow rags. I just don't want to get involved in anything too heavy. Well, what's so heavy about driving a car around all day? I think most people would think that was pretty cushy. Anyway, thanks for your help today. It's a pity I can't interest you, but I'm sure I'll have no difficulty finding someone else. Hang on. I haven't even given you a definite answer yet. Look, 
I don't like time wasters. You're either in or you're not. Don't suppose I'm going to make this sort of money anywhere else. I just don't want to get involved in any funny business. I can assure you there's absolutely nothing to worry about. I provide an essential service. If it wasn't for the likes of me, there are certain people who'd starve to death. And that's not much of an exaggeration. All right. You can count me in. Good. You made the right decision. Welcome aboard. What you were supposed to be. I couldn't go. Got in the chamber. Just couldn't go. I'm so glad you're here, love. I thought I'd lost you forever. Then I can drive straight into town and drop all the material off at Clarence. No, 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 can't you wait? I mean, I'll be here all on my own with all our guests. No, I can't wait. I've been slaving my guts out all week to get it finished. Look, I'll be straight there and back. So, did you um, manage to iron out your work problems? Yeah, it was just the sponsors being awkward, easily sorted out, though it meant I had to spend the night making major alterations to the press book I've been putting together. Uh, <laughs> what time did you eventually get to bed last night? Around oh, about six. And you were up again at eight? Yeah, well, once this account's out of the way, I'll be able to have a rest. Look, you can't survive on two hours sleep. Now, look, put this down and go upstairs have a few hours sleep. Oh, you're joking, aren't you? It's Alice's christening day. She's not been buzzed or fed yet. That'll be the caterer, isn't it? Oh, stop worrying about me. I'll be fine. I'll get an early night tonight. Hello. Hiya. You don't mind me coming in, do you? I don't want Dee Dee clocking me. I thought you were supposed to be in London. Oh, very long story. I won't bore you with the gory details, but basically, me and Ron are back together. And seeing as I'll be staying in Liverpool, I wondered if I could have my old job back. Yeah, of course. It's smashing. Me and Ron need to save every penny we can. I can't stand being in that flat for much longer. Anyway, I better get off. I want to catch your penny and Barry and all. Make sure they haven't given me a job to anyone else. Oh, right. Oh, well, I'll be able to make your Alice's christening as well now, um, if the invitation's still open. Yeah, yeah, of course, if you really want to go. <laughs> Great. So, what time does it start? Um, we've got to be at the church by four. See you then. Bye. It's like nothing ever happened. Do you think it was OK to give her a job back? Oh, I would think so. I mean, she's a hard worker. Let's face it, we need her. Yeah, but things are a bit different now. 
After yesterday's fiasco, how's Dee Dee going to react to having her working next door? See how you were. Come in. Sit down. How are you feeling? I don't really know. I can't believe I've been such an idiot. How could I be so blind? You want to know what would happen? Why did they ever believe you'd want me back again? Why did they ever believe that things could be the way they were? How am I ever going to show my face around here again? Well, you can't lock yourself away. You haven't done anything wrong. The sooner you face up to people and get back to normal, the better. I don't think I'm able to. Not the way I'm feeling. I don't think I'm able to step outside the house ever again. Why don't you come to Alice's christening this afternoon? Oh, no, I couldn't. Why not? Get all the awkwardness out of the way straight away. Show people you don't care. Put two fingers up to the world. I just don't think I can face anyone. Not yet. I'll leave you to it. What are you doing here? I'm sorry, Dee. How could you do this to me? After all you've put me through already. I never intended to hurt you. Ha! And don't be thinking coming round here with some cheap apology is going to make everything all right. I didn't plan any of this, honest. It just happened. You must really love her. Yeah, I do. And how long is it going to last? Especially when you find out that Josh isn't even yours. I already know Josh isn't mine. What? You are right, Dee. Our Mike is his dad. And does our Michael know this? Yeah. Not that it makes any difference, though. There was never really anything between our Mike and Bev. Never will be. Just thinks I'm his dad, and that's fine by me. There's no need for him to ever find out the truth. I love him like he's my own son. I think you better go. Yeah. For what it's worth, I am genuinely sorry. I don't think I'll ever be able to forgive you for this. Don't expect you to. Out. Go on, get out. And don't ever set foot near this house again. I'll get it. Oh, hi, come in. Hiya, catering. Hello, yeah, we met at Barry Grant's house for me. I'm sorry I'm a bit late, but my car wouldn't start. Oh. <laughs> this is my dad. He gave me a lift. Dad, this is Mr and Mrs Farnham. No introductions necessary, love. I met these lovely people at David and Jean's anniversary do. Yeah, that's right. Hey, it's a classy little place you've got here, isn't it? Bit modern for my liking, but nice, all the same. Dad, would you bring the rest of the stuff in? Anything for you, love. Now, I don't want you to worry about anything today because our Emma's got everything under control. She could even give you a quick trim if you fancied it. She's won awards for hairdressing, you know. Really? Just get the stuff in from the car. Hope you're going to be paying me for this. I was only supposed to be dropping you off, you know. <laughs> You'll have to excuse him. He's all right, really. He just thinks he's dead funny. He'll be going as soon as I've brought everything in. There's no need to apologise. Darling, would you keep an eye on Alice for me, just for half an hour? Mm -hmm. Oops, there you go, puppet. Right. I need to proofread last night's work before I get ready. Now, look, wouldn't you be better off having him lie down for an hour? I mean, you look worn out. Oh, well, I wish I could, but there isn't time. Won't be long. I told you about coming home for your dinner. We broke up for half term. Yeah, but that's not till the end of the day. Yeah, but nobody goes in the last afternoon before half term. You do. Oh, Mum! Look, don't own Mum me. I bet Lee's Mum and Dad aren't letting him stay off, are they, Lee? Oh, I've got to go back in after me dinner. See? It's not fair. Oh, Rachel, stop whining. I'm trying to read. Oh, please, Mum. Can't I at least stay here for me dinner, just for today? No, I've already told you. 
You know things are tight, I can't afford it. You can now. Ten pounds? Where'd you get ten pounds from? Washing cars. <laughs> you washing cars? Yeah, me and Lee were around the estate last night knocking on doors. We made loads, didn't we, Lee? Yeah, we did. Well, thanks, love, but you keep it. No, I want you to have it. I want to help out more. No, I couldn't. Oh, please, Mum, I want you to have it. Well, well, it's really good of you, but you don't have to, you know. I don't really want you knocking on strangers' doors, either. All right, I won't do it again. So is it all right ever soon for dinner? Oh, yeah, I suppose so. So where'd you really get the money from, then? I'm washing cars. <laughs> yeah, right, come off it, Rach. I'm not as naive as Mum. Do you honestly expect me to believe that you went round the estate knocking on people's doors? You won't even make your own bed. Lee, tell her. We did, honest. Yeah, well, I don't believe you. Well, actually, if you must know, I've been selling ease at school. Well, stop showing off in front of Lee. Well, if you're not going to believe the truth, I may as well tell you a pack of lies. You can be so childish sometimes. Oh, do you have to drag me into it? I'd do the same for you. The good thing about our Emma is she likes everything to be perfect. She's a perfectionist, aren't you, love? She's turned out well for a scouser. <laughs> I'm only glad she takes after me and not after my first wife. <laughs> Where are you from, then? Well, actually, I was born in Southport. Oh, it's all right for some, Dad, isn't it, eh? you can go now. I'll be fine. Well, I'm in no hurry. I might as well hang around here till you finish, give you a lift back. That's if it's all right with you. No, 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 of course, of course. Is it all right if I close these doors over? Let me get on with a bit of work in peace. <laughs> no problem. Oh. I tell you what, I'll take this little madam upstairs, give you a little bit more room. I'll get it. Hello, hello, Thomas. Mm, I'll give us a kiss. <laughs> Good boy. Hello, madam. Hi, Dad. Mm. Well, Jean David, lovely to see you. Hey, fancy seeing you here. Well, I'd only intended to drop our Emma off, but then Max very kindly insisted that I stay. <laughs> oh, don't you look smart and all your spots are gone? Looks much better, doesn't he, Mummy? I thought it was safe to bring him. I've put a bit of foundation and powder <laughs> on his spots. Makeup? Why, Patricia doesn't want him looking all spotty on the photographs. Don't worry, Dad, I don't think it will have any long lasting psychological effects. <laughs> hey, do you want to hear a good joke about a transvestite? Uh, not here, Ray, no, if you don't mind. Oh. You. Right, yes, I see. <laughs> Hi. There you go. I thought we could have a quick toast before we leave. Oh, great. I'll pop it in the fridge. Um, I'm just going to go and get Alice ready. Hello, Barry. I think you'll be very impressed with what our Emma's doing out there. Oh, Alice. Hiya. Is this all you've done? Well, I had a bit of trouble with my car, so I didn't get started till late. So what are you trying to tell me? You won't be ready on time. Of course I will this age as yet. Yeah, well, you better I'd be, because this is my present to Max and Patricia, and I wouldn't be too happy if it was messed up. Well, I think I'd work faster if I was left alone. You're not going to rob that, are you? Nah, Gary's right. We won't get rich from robbing a place like this. Twenty quid I made selling all that makeup at school. Why did you give your half to you, Mum? Because she needed it. Besides, we can easily make a lot more. Should we not for Gary after school and go into town again? Oh, you're going to get caught. I won't. Gary reckons I'm a natural. Right. Thanks, love. See ya. Hello. Seems mad being in here after yesterday. It's like the last few weeks didn't even happen. Doesn't look like Dee Dee's going to open the florist today. Do you blame her? Should have seen the state of her when I went round. I felt terrible. It's going to take a lot for her to get over this one. I know. You sure you don't regret what you did yesterday? No, no, of course not. But you must understand how bad I feel about Dee Dee. I did lead her up the garden path. It's weird to think how things would have ended up if I had gone through with it. You must still feel something for her, letting it go this far. No, not really, love. Deep down, I always knew I wanted to be with you. But why did you go along with all this church blessing stuff? I don't know, for the easy life, I suppose. I wouldn't be the first to settle for second best just to keep the peace. So why didn't you go through with it? Because I realise that you only get the one life. And you can't waste it just to keep other people happy. Come on. We're going. Hey. You are going to shut up the shop, and then we're going home, getting changed, and going to the Farnham's christening do. Bev, I can't just close up the shop like that. Oh, why not? 
I mean, we deserve a day off after everything we've been through. Yeah, but we can't go to the Farnham's christening, love. Not after yesterday. Why not? I mean, let them gossip if that keeps them happy. I don't think we've got anything to be ashamed of. And besides, I want a drink. And I also want to show people that we're a couple again. To baby Alistair. Yeah. Yes. 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 That christening gown's beautiful. Yeah, Max chose it. Well, I suppose we'd better start <laughs> making a move, eh? I'll just go and check on Emma. Mmm, smells delicious in here. Everything's on schedule now. Been getting much work recently? No, not really. I'm lucky if I get a couple of jobs a month. Well, I'd highly recommend you to anyone. Oh, thanks. Would you be interested in something a bit more permanent? What do you mean? Well, how do you fancy assisting in the kitchen at our new restaurant? <gasps> Are you serious? I wouldn't have asked otherwise. <gasps> Brilliant. When? I'd love to. Any problems? I'm sure Emma's got everything under control. In fact, I've just offered her a job at the restaurant. You what? I take no notice of him. He always looks like that when he's happy. I made up. We'll have a proper chat later. I really appreciate this. Thanks very much. Let's hope we don't have any hiccups like the Dixon disaster yesterday. Oh, what that poor woman must be going through. Um, Dee Dee's here and she's waiting for us. So, I think we'd better make a move. Right. Oh, yes. Come on, Thomas. All right, Thomas. Thanks, okay. Let's go. Now, look, are you sure you feel up to it? I mean, you look worn out. How many times do I have to tell you I'm fine? Look, we're going to get our daughter baptised. We've been looking forward to it for weeks. Right. Mobile phone stays here, okay? Yeah. Uh, you go and open the car, eh? Mm hmm. I've just got to send a quick fax. All right. Thank God you're back. Where have you been? I just nipped into town. Oh, what's up? This comfy here looks official. What's it say? They've set a date for my trial. It's in two weeks. Thomas just in front of Daddy, wonderful. That's good. Now, let's see, it's a little cloudy. I think about a 2 8 to do it. Thinks it's David Bailey. The proud grand are they? <laughs> Say cheese. Super. That'll be lovely. Just think this time yesterday, me and Ron were doing all this, smiling in front of the camera. What a joke, eh? Hey? I still can't believe it's happened. How could it be so stupid? I said, blame yourself. I feel a fool. Come on, let's go inside. We're going inside. Oh, is everything all right? Oh, yeah, fine, thanks. Poor woman. She looks terrible. Ron Dixon really knows how to wreck someone's head, doesn't he? Uh, Dad, um, I can't aspirin or anything. You're not feeling too well, my darling? Ah, I just got a bit of a headache. Huh. Well, maybe your mother's got some in her bag. You know what she's like, a walking first aid box. I'll go and find out. Thanks. Should we go inside, then? It's getting a bit chilly. Just think, this time next year, could be us. Let's just take it one step at a time, shall we? You sure you feel up to this? Yeah, stop pampering me. I'm fine. It's just, just a bit of a headache, that's all. <laughs> You're a bit late, Rachel. Oh, it's the peace policy, Gary. Do you want something to eat? I'm not hungry. I had a burger in town. Town? I thought you said you went to the pizza parlour. We went to town of school and then went there. Are you sure you've been into school this afternoon? Oh, yes. Where'd you get the money for a burger? Gary bought them. I heard you tell Mum the truth, Rach. Ask Lee if you don't believe me. He did, honest. His dad gave us the money. Is it all right if we go and sit in my bedroom now, please? Well, I wasn't allowed boys in my bedroom when I was her age, was I? Chance would be a fine thing. Rachel. Come on. And no loud music. She can be so hard faced sometimes. I don't know where she gets it from. You feeling better now? This cross with which I sign you is the cross of Christ. I didn't realise it was going to be another song we heard at all. Oh, yeah, apparently it's the norm. The they have three or four Christ. done all at the same time. Oh, you can't trust me. You 
This cross confirms you Look, in the faith you of left. Christ. Yeah, we'll sit in the back here. I'll be able to see Com it. Commands you to fight against sin and for the good of the world, enabling you to live within his faith to the end of your days. May God uplift you in the joy of the world that your life may bear witness Don't in the eyes of boy, God Thomas. to the virtues pronounced by his son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Testing, testing, one, Dad, two, test. What do you think? Oh, I love it. It's fabulous. A feast fit for a king or queen. And you'll never guess what. What? That posh one penny. She's offered me a full-time job in the restaurant. You're joking. Honest, she asked me for. Barry Grant wasn't too happy about it, then. Hey, if you get any hassle from him, you just tell me about it. I know how to handle this sort. Oh, he'll probably never be there anyway. He's just the owner. I think I'll be working for her, mainly. She seems to be in charge. Congratulations, love. You deserve it. Dad. What? Did you have to bring that thing? Well, I thought you might just liven things up, that's all. Well, I don't think it's really that kind of party. What do you mean, that kind of party? These things are guaranteed to make any do a success. You mark my words, after a few drinks, they'll all be queuing up to have a go. These posh people love to let their hair down. <laughs> God has received you by baptism into his church. We welcome you into the Lord's family. We are members together of the body of Christ we are inheritors together of the kingdom of God. We welcome you. God our Father, we thank you that these children are received into the fellowship of the church, anointed now by the Spirit of the Holy Ghost. You're right. Rest <clears throat> through this yeah, holy sacrament. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just a Grant tired. that they may grow in the faith in which they have been. I won't be going to prison. How can you be so sure? They could throw the book at you. I'll tell you why I can be so sure. Because I've just spoken to Jesus. I was in the bedroom praying when suddenly I heard a voice. It was as clear as you are now. Well, what did he say? He told me not to be afraid. Even if it seems that the whole world's against me right now, everything's going to be all right. Was that it? No. He told me that people are making plans to try and destroy me. They've realised who I am. That's why they're trying to throw me in prison, because they're scared of my power. But he told me that I mustn't let them win. I mustn't let them take away my freedom. So what are you going to do? Run away? Running away would only make them think that we're scared. But we're not scared, are we? No. But what are you going to do? <laughs> no, Terry. What are we going to do? We're in this together. Don't forget that. When I baptised you, you vowed you'd stay with me until the very end. Yeah, I know, and I meant every word. Well then, our time has come. He's told me what we must do. What? Don't you see, Terry? Around here, it's just a microcosm of the rest of the world. No matter where we go, people are going to want to destroy us. People are afraid of anything they don't understand. We've achieved all we can on this planet. There's only one more place where we can be safe. What do you mean? When Jesus died on the cross, he did it so that we could be saved. Now we must return the favour. It's the very least we can do. We'll be more of an influence dead than we are alive. We're going to make people sit up and think. We're going to be on the front page of every single newspaper. Everyone will realise that we were right and they were wrong. But by then it will be too late. How? Oh. We're going to take our lives in the name of Jesus, Terry. We've done all we can here. We want it up there now. He's waiting for us. Me and you are going to be remembered forever, Terry. Me and you are going to save the entire world all over again. Alice, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the confirmation of God's faith and of our faith in the everlasting life he bestows upon us through the act of baptism. You've got a nerve By showing the your faces here. Dee Dee, not here, love. Just leave it, eh, Dee Dee? Don't make a show of yourself. Making a show of myself? You think I care about making a show of myself after all I went through yesterday? Oh, God, no. Come on, then. If you want to have a go, we'll have a go outside. We don't want to be spoiling everyone's day, do we? Oh. Ben, what are you doing? Come on, we 
Don't you care about that? You'll go about destroying people's lives like it's going out of fashion. Look, Dee Dee, I'm not arguing with you in here. Why not? Don't you want people knowing what kind of a harlot you are? You've done nothing but cause misery ever since you first showed your face. You've ruined everything. Look, Dee Dee, I can understand you're upset. Upset? I'll show you. Sure how this. Yes, I am. Hey, you stop. You stop. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Christening. That's on a fishwife's brawl. Who are you calling the fishwife? Oh, just leave it, will you, Beth? Hey, you should be saying that to your ex-wife, not me. I could murder you. God forgive me, but I could murder you. Oh, you are a loony. You should be locked up. It's no wonder I left you. Penny, I, I feel a bit old. Come on, let's get out of here. Max. <laughs> Look, I'm really sorry about this. I'm sorry, everyone. It's here that should be apologising. Come on, Bev, let's go. I think Patricia needs some fresh air. Max, I don't think Patricia's very well. Patricia? Patricia? Quick, somebody call an ambulance! Don't I do it? Hey, you're supposed to be in bed. You're supposed to be ill. I had the mobile phone by my bed. Where is it? I've taken it away. Well, why? I wanted to phone Clayland's, find out about the contract. Quite. That's why I've hidden it, to stop you working. Doctor's orders. Think what this strikes about. New contracts, performance-related pay, no job security, and don't be thinking you'll be on strike for long, cos once this lot lose production, they'll cave in. Yeah, all right, shall we, yeah. Let's give them a chance to think, eh? We, uh, can't go making rash promises, you know, about how long the strike will last. It's only the first day. Management could drag this out for ages. They've had time to prepare. Yeah, well, so have we. Yeah, look, this is the key to the storeroom, where they keep the backup disk and the computer software. I rang up Tommy last night. He should have handed this to them. But I told him, why didn't he just, like, you know, uh, slip his mind, like, and let me have the key? <laughs> God, what do you like? <laughs> well, that might uh, slow them up a bit, but it won't affect the outcome of the strike. Oh, pessimist or oh, what? And there, you see, those two won't cross. Good on you, girls. You're doing the right thing. Good vibes, mate. Good vibes. I can feel it in my bones. We're going to win this one. I'll tell you. Aye, aye. Yeah. Here's your management friend. Ask her what their morale is like. Because ours is brilliant. What's this? War cry gone out from management? You could say that. I've had to cut short my holiday. Well, they knew the strike was coming. I'm surprised they let you go in the first place. Has Mick come back with you? No, I've had to leave him down there with the kids. We won't do back for another week. Price of being a boss, eh? Yes, well, we all have our little sacrifices, don't we? Honestly, Mum, you run the club, you work at the florist, you haven't got time to help around here. I can change Alice. The doctor said you had to rest and Max was making a meal of it. Play nicely, children. Oh, 
Grisha! Now, look. Go to bed. It's boring up there. What's that thing still doing here, anyway? Oh, Ray Shelby's pipe is calling round for it later. What was he thinking of being that round? Maybe it's just as well I collapsed. <sighs> Dreadful waste of all that food, though. Well, when you feel up to it, we can have a quiet ceremony. Hmm? Just family. No karaoke and no Dixons. Did I miss much? Did I? I can't remember a thing. I don't know. Not much. The all hell letting loose. You flat out at the altar. Alice screaming the place down, the crumpets feuding. Oh, and the uh, paramedics. Face of the vicar. All I can remember is waking up in hospital feeling like I've been assaulted with a sledgehammer. Oh, Max, good No, 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 please, look, Patricia, take it easy about work. Oh, Max, be nice to me, I'm ill. And you should be in bed. I think of the restaurant, the opening so close, all my plans. I know, I know you set everything up, but Barry and I can see them through. Yeah, but if you screw up, it's my reputation down the tubes. We're very capable, thank you very much. You've never done PR before. It's a skilled profession, not something you can just pick up. No, no, Patricia, please, this is not on. Arguing is stressful. Now, you need calm. All right, then, just, just a gentle stroll across the room and a quiet little weed. I promised the doctor that you'd toe the line. You promised that you wouldn't cheat. Bloody hell! What is it? I didn't get the Clayland job. Oh, well, don't get upset. Uh, perhaps it's a blessing in disguise. But I worked so hard to impress them. Yes, exactly. You worked so hard it drove you to collapse. It's probably better that you didn't get it. Oh, thanks for all the sympathy. It's nothing to do with that. Look, the doctor said you had to rest for a week. I'm worried that you'll be ill again. Really ill. You understand? All right, Greg, we open in ten minutes. Greg! Greg! What? 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 Oh. Ooh, what's happening, man? Get out your pit, will you? We were supposed to open up half an hour ago. Oh, well, can't you do No, that? I can't. I've got things on, and it's your turn to do the dinner time slots. Now, come on up. You're not even supposed to be staying here. Make her go mad. Oh, cool it, will you, Mikey? Life's too short. Look, you just go about your business and leave it all to Salter and Son. All right, Miss Dwyer, got a new job to see? For the moment. All hands to the pump, you know. Bit of a come down, though, isn't it? Still, I might open your eyes for you. You know, see how the other half lives. Let me. Well, shouldn't be for long. Wouldn't be too sure about that. I've just been in to see your boss. Confirmed that we'll be out again tomorrow. Oh, damn! Oh. Dear, you want to watch that? Looks like it could stain. Yeah, not exactly elegant, but it'll save you good duds. It's all right, thank you. And to think they dragged you back off your holes to help out in the canteen, eh? You want to report them to the union? I'll see you. All of management are helping out, you know. Your strike will have very little impact. We can keep this place operating normally for weeks. Best of luck with it, love. But be careful you don't break any plates. Or you duck your wages. He's not there. I'm all right, Mum. Didn't think you'd want to come in today. After all that, Friday. You mean after your father publicly humiliating me? What's new? I don't see why I should be the one to hang my head in shame. I've done nothing wrong. Although I must apologise to Max and Patricia for behaving like I did at the christening. Yeah, I don't want to see you get hurt anymore, though. No. Oh, well, thanks. Is that why you want to see him? Tell him what you think of him? Yeah, too right. He's out of order on this one. Well, I think even your dad realises that. Jackie Corkill said he rang to say he was ill, so obviously he's keeping a very low profile. He'd be sick all right when I get my hands on him. No, no, there's no need for that. There's every need. I don't want anything to do with him anymore. That goes for me and all, Mum. We don't need him, do we? No, we don't. We can manage fine without your father. Yeah, we'll be there for you, won't we, Jax? Yeah, definitely. Oh, thanks to both of you. Now, before I fill this bucket up with tears, I'll get back to work. Right. Better see if I can get those two lazy gets up. Do you uh, think she'll be all right? Yeah, she'll be fine. Just so long as we're there for her, Jack. Yeah. Oh, God. Who it isn't. All right, Mike. Hi, Jack. All right. Not right. Who's in the new wheels? You haven't the pools, have you? Not quite. They come with me new job. Hang on. How come you just walk into a job when I've got a degree and I'm stuck here helping out in the pizza parlour? Skill. 
and charm. <laughs> Joking, aren't you? So, what do you do? Just driving, really, door to door. You for? This fella, he's into sorts of financial services, isn't he? You know, bad debts, loans. A loan shark? You're working for a loan shark? It's a bit rough, isn't it, mate? Hey, it's not my fault people get into debt. They should be more careful. Someone has to collect the money. I've got my own daughter to pay for. It's not a charity, you know. So until I can find something better to do, I'll earn the money anyway. I have to. I'll see ya. God, what does he like, eh? I don't know why I even fell for his crappy chatter blinds in the first place. Well, that's because you're not educated, like me. Hey, you. And who's the one with two jobs round here? That's right, me. Hey, there you are. She's given up already. I said she looked cheesed off. Let's go and rub her nose next. Uh, I'll talk to her. You share these signings, I'll take them. Well, that visit was short and sweet. Well, I've done my bit for the day. I need to go and unpack. So, where? Uh, How's production, then? Very good. Near normal. A large number of staff came in. No hitches? Uh, nothing going wrong? Well, for some reason, one of the keys to the storeroom went missing, so it looked like we couldn't access the computer disks. Is that so? Oh, what a shame, eh? Well, not really. Fortunately, management had the foresight to store the disks elsewhere last night, so no problem. You were? Oh, well. Whew. That was lucky, wasn't it? it certainly was. Well, I can't see you lot being able to keep this place going, though. <laughs> it's ridiculous that to come to this, you know? I couldn't agree more, but it was your shop steward who called the workforce out, not us. I mean, we'd like nothing more than a sensible solution to all this. Yeah, I know, but things Listen, are... I've really got to be going. I'm sorry. See you. Goodbye to you and all. Right. Now, there's columns for the money that comes in and there's columns for the money that goes out. In other words, household expenditure. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm not stupid. No, I know you're not. I'm just trying to show you how easy it can be, that's all. I make me feel like I'm back at school. And I don't see how this is going to magically make all our debts disappear. No, well, it won't. But we've got to sort out the money management and get a proper system going. Otherwise, it's going to be loans on top of loans and we're never going to get out of this mess, are we? I'd like to be better at paying bills. I really would, but... I don't know what I'd do that, you or Rachel. <laughs> You're joking, aren't you? She's enough spending around here for all of us. Oh, no, she's been really good recently. I mean, going around with Lee, cleaning cards to give him money. Where are you going now? Oh, I can't think without another coffee. <sighs> so don't you mind Rachel hanging around with Lee anymore, then? Well, you've ever known her so quiet and well-behaved. Nice to see her with other friends as well. Gary, little Leo from the pizza parlour. You just don't her right, tomboy, isn't she? No, she's the least of my worries. I'd have got to sort out this money business. Yeah, well, if you sit down and concentrate, you will. Now, come on, get on with this homework. Yes, miss. I don't suppose I can go out to play later, can I? All right, son. Where have you been? Uh, the park. Just playing footy with Rachel and Lee. Huh? Have you eaten? Uh, nah, I didn't bother. Well, I've got a pizza going here for you. Nah, you're all right. Hey, you've got to eat. You are skinny, you are. Get off. Come on, call yourself a boxer, eh? I am a boxer. What, there's no weight behind you punching, son? Come on, <sighs> eat this pizza. Hey, Dad, catch. Hey, now two can play at that game. Miss. <sighs> Not unless you eat this pizza. It's dried up, chuck it. Right, catch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought you were on your holidays. I spent all morning trying to keep this clean. I just about managed it till now. Gary, come get a cloth, quick, quick. Oh, it's all right. I need to go and change. I think you better clean this mess up. Then we can have a little chat. All right, Gary. She came back. Who? Marianne. Ah, well, Digger says he thinks it's a tea cosy. Is it a tea cosy, Kirk? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Kirk in a tea We thought you wouldn't be back till anyway, next week. We would have been out of here by then. We would have left it tidy, honest. I think you better pack. You're out of here. You're also out of a job. Well, don't you think you should discuss this with me? No, I don't. Well, where is Mick anyway? Mick's still away with the kids. I had to come back for work. There's no point spoiling his holiday as well, is there? I don't know. Let's find out. Hi. 
Hi. Is your boss around? I don't suppose any part-time jobs going here, are there? Uh, well, he's still away on holiday, but if I get myself a proper job, you can have mine here. Right, well, I'll hold you to that. I've looked in the paper, but I don't want too many hours. I'll be falling asleep in lectures. Oh, things are a bit thin on the old cash front, eh? Well, it's not just for me. Although I could do with the extra money. No, um, things are a bit tight at home. All right. So I thought I'd do my little bit to help out. Eh, uh, Mum, you don't need any assistance for the florist, do you? I'm sorry, love. We're not busy at this time of the year. And Katie Rogers helps out at the weekends and holiday time. Oh, that's right. Thanks, anyway. I better go. See you soon. Oh, Beth. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Oh, and uh, can we have the delivery van? Mr Crosby said he's ready now. Yeah, just give us five minutes. I'll clean it out. I'll pass the keys into you. OK, thanks. Hi, Dee Dee. Um, how are you? I'm glad to have seen you. I uh, wanted to apologise for everything that happened at oh, the christening. Well, uh, Patricia was unwell before the, the fisticuffs, so... I'm so ashamed of being out of control like that. And in a church. Are you going this way? Yeah, I'm just picking up some groceries, actually. Uh, Patricia's been confined indoors, so uh, she's under strict instructions not to go out. You will tell I'm sorry, won't you? Look, she understands. I mean, we are aware of the, uh, the circumstances. Trying to avoid someone. What? Oh, um, uh, no, no, not at all. I was, um, I was just wondering, is Marianne about? Uh, yes, yeah, she's upstairs, but she's not in a very good mood. Well, neither am I, so we should suit each other perfectly. Well, if you're prepared to take your life in your own hands, go on up. Thank you. Oh, allow me. What? She sacked me. Well, you're not surprised, are you? Yeah. But I did manage to get her to let me work my notice, so I have now got seven days' grace. How did you manage that? Well, I told her I couldn't afford to leave Mick in the lurch. Even she could see the sense in that. Well, he might still sack you when he gets back. Well, I'll face that when I come to it, won't I? In the meantime, buddy boy, I am still here. Well, if that's the case, you can carry on with the cleaning while I have my tea break. Hey, no sweat, Mikey. Only too pleased to help, as usual. Hey, and don't you go worrying about me being out of a job, because I have now got a whole week to work on air upstairs. With Marianne, you have got no chance. Hey, we'll see. This time next week, she'll be begging Mick to keep me on. No problem. No problem whatsoever. You weren't blabbing down the boozer about it, were you? What do you think I am? The only old talk, Tommy. I rang him and told him to bring the key round. Well, he must have blabbed. Tommy? No way. It's just the way me life. So how come management just happened to take the discs out of that cupboard on the very night that you'd come up with your master plan? They've never moved them before. I don't know. Oh, God, this is too me, I did Why does it have to be so complicated these days? In the past, you knew where you were. You got a load of fellas in to block the gates. You brought the place to a standstill and management gave in. Simple. Oh, yeah, very subtle. <laughs> Did us a lot of good, that, didn't it? Yeah, well, I can't be doing all this latest crap. You go in, tell management what you're doing, giving two weeks' notice. It's bloody ridiculous. And six fellas on a picket line, what good is that? It's the law. <laughs> <laughs> like it all lumpets. All right, Mr. Jodash. Hello, Carl. Hello, Mandy. Hello. Right, uh, thanks for today. I'll uh, see you tomorrow, same time. Yeah, all right. See ya. Okay. Now, don't be worrying. I've not come for money. It's your day tomorrow, isn't it? Yes. Just dropping off my driver and assistant. What, Carl? Yeah, he works for me. Bright boy but was headed nowhere till I gave him a break. Not like your Beth. Now, your Beth's a girl with a future. Yes, well, um, I've been talking to Beth, and there are things that worry her. The demands for outstanding payments, for instance, they still haven't stopped, and we can't understand why not. Now, I've explained all that. But we ought to have it written down. I mean, Beth says there should be documents, and we should have a copy. What's all this Beth says? Well, she's worried. <laughs> she might be bright. But what does she know about these things? She's still only young. 
She understands it better than I do. Hey, don't you go putting yourself down. You're a woman of many talents. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can shop. I'm getting very good at finding bargains. Trust me, that won't last. We'll get you out of this mess. Look, Beth says that... Now, I don't want to know what Beth says. Your business is with me. But she really thinks we have to sort this out properly. <sighs> oh, Beth, I was just saying to Mr. Maguire when we were talking... Mandy, that... you can't live through these girls. Before you know it, they'll leave home. Best not to rely on Beth too much. She won't be around forever. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, excuse me, I think we need to talk about these loan repayments, don't you? I'm sorry, late as it is. See ya. Did you tell him we're not happy about this loan? Well, I tried to, but it was difficult. I couldn't get a word in. And he was in a rush. He's dropping Carl off. Said Carl works for him now. What, Carl Banks from next door? Apparently. It's not going to be a massive affair. Do you think this will be all right? You'll look lovely. I think everything's sorted. There's only three weeks to go now. I really hope this strike's sorted by then. It'd just be like Lige Tech to ask me to come in and help out the cleaners on the morning of my wedding day. Do you think it might drag on then? Yeah, my bosses think so. I've been asked to recruit temporary labour to keep production going, try and beat the strike. Yeah. Scab labour, eh? That'll go down well. Understatement of the century getting really sick of doing management's dirty work for them. Well, I know what I'd do if I were you. I'd check out that Glasgow job, see if it was still on offer. No, Mick wouldn't move. I haven't even mentioned it to him. He gets a bit, you know, insecure. Uh, we used some of your coffee, so, uh, replacement jar. Oh, right, thanks. While I'm here, can I, uh, more coffee, ladies? How long have you heard your servant? Do you hire him out? He's working his notice. Quite right, too. You see, uh, I've been a naughty boy, and Marianne quite rightly sacked me. But all I ask is a second chance. I mean, is that too much to ask? Depends how naughty. Very. Anyway, look, I don't want you two worried about me for a second. I mean, I'll find something. Gary and I don't need much to live on. In fact, we could do with losing some weight. Goodbye, Greg. We've cleaned up downstairs. Everything's ship-shape. You sure you don't want no more coffee? Bye, Greg. OK, OK, I'll go. I can take a hint. Go straight back to the flat, tonight after work. Back to the cold, dank, damp abode. I'll go then. What a character. What a cheek. Sorry, did you call? Do you want that coffee now? Goodbye, Greg. <laughs> oh, God, the time. Better get back to my cell before I missed. Oh, dear, it's not that bad, is it? What, with Commandant Max, I'll be lucky to get parole to come to your wedding. <laughs> You know, I'm sick of people telling me what they think is good for me. Work's good for me. And that's what I intend to do. How can you work for a man like that? I mean, he's really taken my mum for a ride. She really dreads him coming. Listen. And anyway, I want to know how many more is doing this to. Listen, I just drive. I don't ask questions. Well, maybe it's about time you started asking then. Look, the less I know, the better. That way, I won't feel so bad about it, OK? Hey. Okay. Well, look, do me a favour and have a word with your boss, will you? Well, you asked him to help my mum. Oh, yeah, he's really going to listen to me, isn't he? Look, if your mum just pays what she owes him, he'll keep off her back. Oh, but you don't understand. He keeps changing the rules. It's obvious that he do not want her to pay him back so he can keep collecting. Hiya. All right, love. Look, Beth, we'll talk about it some other time, OK? All I'm asking is that you have a word with your boss. That's not too much to ask, is it? Don't you think, Mr Banks? Well, if you know who he's working for, love, you know a lot more than I do. He's been very secretive about this job. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised working for a loan shark. I'll see you. Yeah, see you, Beth. Dad. Look, I'm not happy about it either. I mean, don't think I am. Loan shark, eh? The strike, you know. It could go on. Could be a long haul. Some of my mates could be forced to take out loans. Tell me about it. Mates. Ordinary, decent people. But there's some of them who'll never get out of debt. They'll just go down and down because of the leeches, scavengers. Scum. Waiting to prey on them and make things worse. I had no choice. I needed this job. Any job. Some jobs are wrong, immoral. Some things you just don't do. Carl, you're my son. 
Do you think I want to be ashamed of my own flesh and blood? I don't want to hear excuses. I just want to hear that you'll pack this job in. 